it started off like this, I think. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> That's exactly how I started too. Good day just for you crew and welcome to the vlog. It is Tuesday, November 24th. It's just almost one o'clock in the afternoon. I had Carl come over in the morning. We worked out some stuff. Excuse me, I have dry. I just had a big glass of water, so I'm like burping. Uh, we need an extra drive, so uh, we got some work done and we finished up two other shows. So we're gonna try and get them out to the networks that they have to go to. I also had to copy a whole bunch of stuff to some drives for him to take home. Uh, the Twinkies are still sitting there. I'll probably do that maybe tomorrow or Thursday. Well, I have to do it as soon as possible, really. Uh, I wanna go for a bike ride. I have to book my flights tonight. Uh, I have to, oh yeah, let's talk about England. So, <coughs> uh, I can't, I don't have confirmation 100% as to what flights I am taking, what times I am leaving, departing, arriving, and then departing there to come back here. I don't know all that stuff yet. I have to figure that out tonight. I wanted to triple check and make sure with the guys what their plans are, where they're going to be, what they're going to do, because uh, I don't want to be just sitting in England twiddling my thumbs and not collabing or making videos. So. Uh, again, I will be in Southampton the whole time. Uh, I will be flying into Heathrow probably and then taking the train down to Southampton. Um, my eyes starting to twitch. I'm like so stressed. Uh, no big deal. We'll get through this. So, uh, so I'll be flying into Heathrow. Uh, see, I, I like, I try to, I want to do meetups with people, but I'll, you know, take my time and say, okay, because this has happened before. I'll say, okay, I'm going to be here at this specific time if you want to be here. And people are, are so wanting to go and meet. Uh, and then when I do it, nobody if nobody shows up uh, or one person shows up, which is good for that one person. Great. But it'd be nice to, you know, get like 10, 20 people together. That would be amazing. So I will be in Southampton for Friday night or possibly even Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night probably. Uh, so we're going to try and maybe do a meetup Friday night and Saturday night at a specific place in Southampton. Recommend places that you've been to before. I've never been to any of these places, obviously. So try to find one that has some room that's not too stupid busy on a Friday or Saturday night. Um, the other thing too is if people are, I'm not sure what the drinking age is in England, but you know, some of these places we might go to might be a pub. And I'm not sure if, you know, 13, 14, 15 year olds uh, are allowed to be in these pubs. Pro chances are they are as long as they're with their parents. Uh, so yeah, I, I just need lots of information from you guys and some help as to where to go uh, and just figure out these logistics. Uh, but I would definitely want to meet up with you guys. I will be around. I think I might be staying at um, one of the hotels in the south like the city center area, close, just south of the airport, almost in the downtown area, if you can call that downtown, I'm not sure. I did some city, uh, what's it, street view looks around just to see what it looks like, and it's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Ben is going to be coming home at like 2.30, quarter to 3, then I have to take him up to go get his driver's license, and... Uh, then I'm going to go to the flight center, uh, get my tickets, confirm that 100% finally, and then uh, then I'm going to come home and I'll book my own hotel here, and uh, we'll figure out which hotel. I think I have an idea which hotel, but I'm not sure. And plus, I want to make sure it jives with my plane tickets. Plane tickets first, then hotel. That's how it's going to go. Okay guys, it's time for a bike ride. I'll probably ride for about 30 minutes, probably 30 plus minutes, because I won't be able to ride, be able to ride fast and burn calories quick, because I usually stop at 400 calories, whether it takes me 31 minute or 22 minutes. 400 calories, that's all I want to burn. So I got my fan set up, I got my water, I don't have my computer. It is in the other room. Right now I'm transferring mega files from drive to drive to drive to drive. While that's doing that, I'm gonna get my Garmin 510. Some people wanna know what kind of computer I use. Uh, I have a chest monitor on. That's not my ribs. So I got a heart rate monitor on. I've got my computer. I've got water. I've got a cadence sensor, a wheel sensor. I'm, I'm set. 
So I'll do this. I'll let you guys know how it goes. She was a fast machine. She kept your motor clean. She was a fast, fast. Okay, guys, all done. I burned my 400 calories. Uh, I average 17.5 kilometers per hour. Uh, my speed was, uh, my maximum speed was 25. Um, my moving time was 31.6 minutes. Uh, I stopped a couple times. Just, and I rode obviously really slow. Um, yeah, it wasn't the, the best ride ever. Uh, I just kept in the first and second gear the whole time and just spun and, and just kind of kept going. But I still burned my 400 calories without killing myself, which was a good thing. Because uh, sometimes I go right up to the very top gear and just like pretend I'm climbing a huge hill and get the heart rate right up. And then it takes like a couple minutes of recovery, maybe more. And uh, But this one I just rode and had fun, listened to music. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that inspires you guys to get out there and uh, get yourself on a bike, get some exercise into you. Uh, it actually will pause it for you. It did. There you go. As soon as I start it up, it should start again. All right, guys, we are going up to Barry. Ben is going to write his driver's license. The first thing you'll learn is not to vlog while driving and then show a book while driving with your knee. Unless you're an experienced 49-year-old driver who vlogs while driving. I'm going to make sure that on the driving test, I'm vlogging the test. Right. Tell it. Well, tell your instructor. Know, I mean, like, tell instructor your instructor, I, I got to learn to do this because that's what my dad does. That's what my dad does. That's what he taught me <laughs> when I was six in the car. When I was six. When he, used to dry, when he used to let me drive when I was six because he was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Too much information. The car seat. The car seat right here. People, he had the car seat in the middle. Well, he used to hold the beer opener for me, which was good. Of course, we're joking, people. Yeah. Don't get all offended. Freak out. Uh, so, and after that, I'm going to zip over to the flight center and try and get my uh, plane ticket to England, London. Oh, we're not going to lie. Well, I'm flying to Heathrow. Uh, ben wants to go, but he's not. Would you go if I said, let's go? Of course you'd dump school to go to London. Yeah. Who wouldn't? I'm going to London. I'm going to London soon, probably. So. You're going you're gonna to make my mom take you? No. Connor. Oh, right. Right. That's a story for another day, though. A, a story for another day. Maybe I'll put a vlog on my YouTube channel. Maybe. Yo, that'd actually be really cool. I'll do a vlog. That way we can introduce Connor and I. Probably you would, you would get, you would get uh, a warm welcoming, I bet. From your vlogging channel. If you just vlogged at least once a week to let people know what's going on. I'd start it off like you two here near the camera. Well, there you go. I'd start it off like this. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> That's exactly how I started too. Isn't it? That was like perfect. Exactly. Perfect imitation of me. Except I wouldn't be looking directly into the camera very creepily like I just... That's going to be my thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, got my plane tickets. It's uh, 900 and it's under a thousand dollars, which is good. Which is where I wanted it to be, needed it to be. But uh, I'll tell you the rest of the information soon. All right, guys, to finish off yesterday's vlog, uh, Ben and I came home. Uh, Carol uh, came home just after us, and we had uh, I'm not even sure what kind of noodle we had. It was a different kind of a noodle pasta. And with what? A mini lasagna noodle. Midi? Mini lasagna noodles. Oh, mini lasagna. That might make sense. That's what they look like. Little tiny lasagna noodles. Uh, and then we had that with... Um, we don't do a whole lot of beef at home. So we had... Oh, there's a hair on my camera. Um, so we did uh, turkey. And so I fried up some onions, some garlic, and some butter. And then I put in ground turkey, mixed that up. And then we put in some uh, pasta sauce and that. And it tasted absolutely great. I got to use my new... Um, uh, cheese grater for the Parmesan, which I've always wanted. I got one a couple weeks ago, so we got to finally use that for the first time. Uh, and then I proceeded to move a ton of stuff from one uh, area to another for, for Carl's stuff, getting ready for today. Um, that's pretty much what I worked on all night, was just making sure all my stuff was 
where it's supposed to be for today. And then uh, just before I went to bed, I watched a whole bunch of movie trailers because I have to redo my uh, trailer for my channel. So and I kind of want to make it like an epic movie trailer. So I was like educating myself. <laughs> And now it's time for happy birthday shout outs for Wednesday, November 25th. And it is only two people, which is awesome. We have Evan and Andrew. Happy birthday to both of you. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below letting everybody know, including myself, what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or ate out. And don't forget to take a picture of it, click, click, and post it on my Facebook as well. All right, guys, so you two have an awesome birthday and we'll see the rest of you tomorrow.